Crying is your baby's main way of communicating with you. It may be that they are crying for physical reasons, such as being hungry or tired or needing their nappy changed, or it may be that they have emotional reasons, so they're bored or they're lonely or they're frightened. Either way, your baby expects you to figure out what the problem is and to respond appropriately. From your baby's perspective, it is just as important that you respond to emotional reasons as to physical reasons, but from your perspective, it's probably much easier to respond to the physical reasons because you can literally tick them off on a checklist and work out what the problem is. You'll probably find that after a while, you start to recognize the sound of different cries and can work out what your baby is trying to tell you, but this may take significantly longer than you had anticipated, and possibly after several months, you're still guessing on some of them as to what the problem is, and it is just a matter of trial and error until you work out what your baby needs from you. So newborn babies are developmentally very premature. This is because we walk on two legs and so our pelvis is quite narrow and to enable our head to fit through, we have to be born before our brain is fully developed. So the first three months of a baby's life should really be spent inside the womb, finishing the development. And instead they're born, they're outside, and from their perspective, they think they're still inside and they expect to have the same sort of environment as they've been used to. So in this period, which is sometimes known as the fourth trimester, your baby is very emotionally vulnerable and immature and needy um, because they don't see themselves yet as a separate person. They see themselves still as an extension of mum. And you may find in this time that if your baby is unhappy, then creating a womb-like environment helps them to feel safe and reassured. So that you could do this by creating some white noise, such as the hoover or the hairdryer or the washing machine. And these sounds are similar to that of the blood pumping around mum's body and therefore helping your baby to feel like they're back in the womb. Or you may find that holding your baby tightly and securely and rocking or moving with them, again, help them to feel like they're back in the womb because there's not much space in the womb and the baby was constantly moving with mum's movements. So these sorts of things can really help to calm your baby and reassure them and will probably help you to feel that you're meeting their needs as well. If, however, you have a baby who isn't settled by these methods and you can't figure out what the problem is, particularly if they're unhappy after a feed or in the evening time, it may be that they are suffering from colic. This is a digestive problem and immaturity of the gut that usually resolves itself at around three months old. Um, but in the meantime, if your baby appears to be in a lot of pain, crying, pulling their legs up, arching their back, um, and inconsolable, usually crying for several hours at a time, you may well find that you are helped and they are helped by a trip to the doctor to get some medication to help them overcome this problem.